Hi everyone, what's up? It's Joshua here from Alternative Brewing, and today we're going to take a look at the Hario V60 Starter Kit. This is a very affordable and easy way to begin brewing delicious pour over coffees within your own home. Let's take a look at what you get in the box. You will receive a V60 plastic cone dripper, a 600ml Hario coffee server, 40 paper filters, and a 12 gram measuring spoon. Now the V60 is great for making one to four cups of filter coffee, which is enough for yourself and you'll even have some left over to share with a friend. So let's get set up and start brewing. First, grab a paper filter and fold it along the seam. Open that up and place that within the V60 cone. Rinsing some water through this first helps eliminate any papery taste that may come from the filter and it also heats up the bottom decanter too. Just make sure you discard this water. Now making a pour over coffee relies mostly on using a brew ratio of how much coffee to water you're brewing with. A standard brew ratio for the V60 is a 1 to 16.5. But a better way of working this out is knowing how much brewed coffee you actually want to drink. For me, that's just over a mug full of coffee, so 330 mils. Now I divide that by 16.5 and boom, I get 20 grams of ground coffee that I need to use in my filter. Now once the beans are weighed out, Grind them to a medium fine grind, and freshly ground is always best. After adding your coffee into the cone, give the brewer a little shake to level the grounds. Next, we're going to bloom our coffee. This is a small amount of water, about twice as much water that you have to coffee to prepare the grinds for an even extraction. Now waiting around 30 seconds after adding your bloom water will assist in this process of allowing the grounds to fully soak up that water. And once that time has passed, you can begin pouring slowly the rest of the water into the bed of coffee in circles, starting from the inside out and then back in again. Now having a pouring device like this gooseneck kettle does help in controlling the flow of water into the V60 cone. And I'm aiming for my 330 mils to be finished dripping into the decanter below around the two minutes 30 to three minutes mark, which means I haven't brewed my coffee too long or not long enough. And the taste of the coffee is all I need as feedback to know that I've brewed my coffee in the right amount of time. If you're finding your water is either pouring through the bottom too fast or it's too slow at pouring out, then the size of your grinds will need to be changed either finer to slow that drip down or coarser to speed that up. Once you're finished, throw away the filter, place the lid on the decanter to keep your coffee nice and warm and there's a delicious Hario V60 pour over coffee to enjoy. Now, you will be able to make a coffee using the Hario V60 starter kit without all the extra gear of a scales, kettle and a grinder, but having them do go a long way in making a great consistent coffee time and time again. The Hario V60 is simple to use, it's easy to clean, and you can create the brew that's right for you. If you have any questions on the Hario V60 starter kit, then throw them in the comments section below and we'll get straight back to you. Don't forget to hit that little bell icon on your screen so you keep notified when we bring out videos just like this one every week. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.